Madame Deputy Speaker. Order, questions for oral answer. Mr. Sean Huang. Madam, LTA and agencies have been monitoring the pace of developments in the Tuas area, including the plan for the build-up of operations at Tuas Port up to the 2040s, when it will become fully operational. To support the expected increase in travel demand to the area, LTA has been progressively expanding transport provisions. In 2017, LTA completed the Tuas West extension by adding four MRT stations to the East-West line. This has brought about significant time savings for commuters travelling to the Tuas area. LTA also introduced two new public bus services, uh, 247 and 248, to enhance the transport connectivity in the Tuas and Tuas South region. Tuas Road Viaduct Phase 1, which improves accessibility to Tuas South and Tuas Port, has also been completed. The completion of the Jurong Region Line by the second half of this decade will further improve connectivity in the Western Region. LTA and MPA have also worked with PSA to expand the coverage of their employee shuttle services to complement the public bus network. Our agencies will continue to monitor the travel demand, review the adequacy of transport provisions, and engage key stakeholders such as PSA and the unions. Mr. Sean Huang. Madam Deputy Speaker, I thank the Minister for his uh, answers. Based on, I understand that in 2019, an assessment was made that the Tuas South MRT line is uh, insufficient, has insufficient ridership to support a line there. Uh, three years down the road, based on current estimates, will there, will there be an update for this SMS assessment? Thank you. SMS. Uh, Madam, I thank Mr. Huang for his question. Uh, this is an issue which we will continue to monitor. Uh, I've explained in this house previously that the extension of the MRT network uh, will depend on the demand for public transport services. And this is not going to be only dependent on the workers who are going to PSA, but also on the surrounding industrial area where we are planning to build up some manufacturing capabilities in the vicinity of the port. So depending on the developments and also depending on the demand for public transport services, uh, the need to invest additional amounts of resources to extend the MRT can then be made based on this more holistic and complete picture. Thank you. Mr. Dennis Tan.
you, Madam, D Madam Deputy Speaker. Uh, I'd just like to ask the SMS whether there are any plans to expand the uh, road network or to increase the capacity of current expressway or roads leading to Tuas and the Tuas Megaport area, specifically for road transport and logistical purposes? Uh, if, and if so, when will this uh, construction begin? Thank you. SMS. Um, Madam, this uh, network of roads leading to the ports, I think it's important. I think as uh, Mr Tan pointed out, we want to make sure that the container trucks and also other vehicles that are travelling to the port and from the port, uh, that there will be sufficient capacity to cater to this requirement. Uh, it is an ongoing review. The development of the port will not happen in one phase, but over a period of time and uh, demand will build up and therefore I think the development of the uh, road infrastructure to support the port operations uh, would also have to be reviewed in tandem with how we scale up the operations of Tosport. Uh, 